Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is order of operations with parentheses and exponents. So pause the video and see if you can try to do these on your own. All right, just to review, or of operations is what? Yeah, it's PEMDAS. So it's please excuse my dearest Aunt Sally. All right, when you do or of operations, you do parentheses first, then exponents, then group together, it's multiplication or division from left to right, and then addition, subtraction from left to right. You group them together. So here, you want to do what's inside the parentheses first before you do the exponents. Now, when you're inside the parentheses, you're like in like a little uh, confines of a neighborhood. So you just want to kind of, you know, just focus on that with the or of operations. So inside the parentheses, what would you do first? You want to add, you would do the exponents. So that would be 7 plus 2 minus 8 squared. Then you do addition subtraction from left to right. So that's 7 plus 2, which is, right, it's 9. And then 9 minus 8 is 1. All right, so the result ends up being 1. Now, since it's just a number, you're all set with the parentheses. It's just a placeholder, or number holder, or whatever. So, what are you going to do next? Are you going to do 3 times 1? Or are you going to do 1 squared? Right, you do 1 squared because of the exponents. So you have 3, and then 1. What's going to go in between the 3 and the 1? Is it addition, subtraction, multiplication, or dividing? Right, it's going to be a multiplic multiplication sign. And the reason for that is because this number is right next to the parentheses. And then what's 3 times 1? Right, it's 3. So your final answer on this side is 3. All right, a slightly more complicated one. But what are you going to do first? Are you going to do the 5 minus 2? No, what you're going to do first is what's inside the parentheses. Now, are you going to do negative 5 times negative 2 first? No, not at all. Right? It's from left to right, division and then multiplication. So what's negative 25 divided by negative 5? Right, that's a positive 5. Bring everything else down. This is a negative 2, if you're having trouble seeing it. Bring that down. All right, then what are you going to do? You're still going to do what's inside the brackets. What's 5 times a negative 2? Right, it's a negative 10. And that's being cubed. What's negative 10 cubed? Because I have to do the exponents. Right now, this is just a sign holder, so I have to do the exponents. So what's negative 10 times negative 10 times negative 10? Negative 10 times negative 10 is 100, positive 100. And what's positive 100 times a negative 10? Yes, negative 1,000. So that's 5 minus 2 times negative 1,000. All right, then you do what? Yes, multiplication. So you do 2 times this, 
Now I'm putting a plus sign here because that double negative produces a plus sign, right? A negative times a negative gives you a positive. Negative two times negative 1,000 is 2,000. And what's five plus 2,000? Right, it's 2,005. I thought it was 2,011. No, it was 2,005. That's the answer you probably. All right, that's it.